What's up and good morning guys. Welcome back to another video. I'm just leaving one of my uh, favorite places over here. You know, the old Home Depot in what is uh, currently the new work truck, the LLY. We just had to get stocked up on uh, an air filter for obviously our air compressor, being that we're gonna be running the plasma cutter. Plasma cutters don't like water. They have internal air filters or well, internal water separators, but I wanna make sure we kind of run one in line. That way we just eliminate any water issues messing up our uh, plasma cutting. Now, that being said, we haven't cut anything yet because obviously the last video we left you off on uh, we're still getting the plasma cutter all set up still need to get the computer hooked up uh, and a couple other things before we actually started cutting well, I'm hoping today is the day that we can actually do our first cut with it and we've got a new lift kit sitting over at the warehouse uh, For Brian's truck, so let's go check that out now. But we made it back to the warehouse. We've got Sergio again Hello, Sergio. What's up, man? We're gonna run over to the metal store. We've got about 30 minutes before it closes and so... just get a couple sample pieces Let's hurry up <laughs> yeah. the story of our lives. Always hurry, yeah. hurry, hurry. Hurry, hurry. Sergio's like, you want to go get metal now or should we wait till tomorrow? I'm like, Sergio, I'm already like <laughs> <laughs> insane over the fact that we didn't get this thing working yesterday. I can't wait another day, buddy. No. I, gotta... I will put even my hood on my car. Today. <laughs> Just test we it. can cut a nice uh, hood stack out of this <laughs> yeah. truck. Yeah, I'm down. So for right now, I'm not sure exactly what we're gonna get. What we get? Some like 16, 18 gauge. What do you think, Sergio? Uh, try 16, but I don't know. I'm not an expert, so I have <laughs> yeah. to check. I have to touch it. Right, right. Yeah, I also don't know gauges. I know eighths of inches. I'm not a gauge person, but let's see what we can find. Oh, Sergio, we'll just buy the Easy Weld. Oh. The weld itself. We got all this stuff, but this stuff, is, this is my world. This is eighths of inches. We got some sheet metal. 20 gauge, uh, 14 gauge, 18 gauge. That's 20. Okay, well then the thing lied to me. It says 18 <laughs> right there. Maybe this side's 18. 18 gauge. Okay. Four foot by four foot. See, we should have got the four foot by four foot table. Sergio? Damn it. We tried. We tried to get oh, the four. Small. Oh yeah, I can bet 16. Yeah, that's perfect. This is a one. This here is great metal. What type? Couldn't tell you. <laughs> Cold rolled, maybe. Sheet we metal. Should, we should have done a little bit of search, research before we. Oh, there's a small. What? Ex, um, this, explanation. Like, I don't think this explains anything. <laughs> this is sizes, great for sizes. This tells us gauges. Galvanized sheet metal. It's All right, we're good, Sergio. We good? All right, bye, Sergio. Shit. Scratch it, Sergio. Jeez. <laughs> Come on, Sergio, just load it straight on the table, man. We're ready to cut. Not really, but let's pre yeah. let's pretend like we're ready to cut. First, we need to fill the water table with some water. And uh, load the program, set it up. Oh, I easy day. Yeah, by tomorrow this time. We'll no, it's hard to today, <laughs> buddy. No, we're not waiting till tomorrow. We got Brian here. He really wants to see it. We got to show it to him. Let's take it apart if you want. Let's see. Oh, okay. Here we go. Brian, you're strong enough to move this whole pallet over to our shop. Grab it. Let's see your help. Yeah. It's probably... That's probably... We could probably get that on a furniture mover. Oh, yeah. yeah, we'll get it on a furniture mover. We don't need a pallet. Let's see. Lower that down. I think one. Yeah, let's try it. We got this. Let's go. Come on. Why is it wrapped in like biohazard bag? Oh, oh, oh. There we go. Easy. Sweet. All right. New lift kit. Yeah. Is this going on the uh, LOI or what's this going on? Yeah, right. So if you guys remember from the other day, we're pulling apart Brian's truck and he's got his new Cognito lift kit here, which they ordered what, yesterday? Yesterday morning. Yesterday morning they ordered this lift kit. It's already here, ready to go, fully palleted. Nice, dude. We're gonna pull everything out here, see what this whole kit consists of. Meanwhile, we're also gonna be doing, uh, <laughs> trying to get this thing all dialed in. What we got here? Oh, we got our our cam software. So what lift kit do we got here? Give us all the details. Uh, the Cognito 10 to 12 with uh, just full boasting. And I have the, the new uh, sway bar right there too. That, that's from Cognito as well? Yeah, that's from Cognito as well. Everything's gonna get powder coated blue. Are you gonna open everything up right now? Yeah, cool. All right, we're gonna throw it all on the Civic to go to the powder coater? Uh, I'm telling you, we can just put the pallet on the roof of the Civic and you'll be good to go. Probably bottom out a couple times. So we've got the new, Spindle, so if you guys don't know the difference between like a bulletproof lift kit and the Cognito lift kit, well, I mean, this is not a good example because the coilover conversion setup, but Cognito is a spindle lift, so they have the giant spindles right there. And the one thing I don't like about the Cognito lift and kind of side, eh, shied me away from it is you can't get a dual shock hoop option like on my old truck or like on Jake's truck we just did the other day where you actually have the two shocks up here. Cognitos, um, 
basically since you're getting a bigger spindle the shock is in pretty much the location of my coilover right there but in most applications you don't really see it as much looks wise i just like seeing the double shocks a little bit more but i know these are definitely uh very good kits apparently i got popcorn in my beer too so we're just trying to find somebody else's like design off of their free source design whatever website being that uh, we haven't worked up, well, I mean, Sergio's in the middle of working up designs for projects that he needs, but we're not done yet. So we're going to take the G code, which is basically the code that tells the tool where to go and when, and use something simple here to uh, try and test this thing. I mean, first we got to make it move, which we're trying to get to that point. Sergio, we're, it's not smarter than us. We're going to get this. All right. Well, we got our biggest help right here, Chris, showing up. Chris is going to figure it all out. Hey, buddy, can you figure this out for us? Figure what out? Uh, we got to figure out the G code and why this thing's not moving. And then while you're here, can you install Brian's new lift kit? Please. One thing at a time, guys. One thing at a time. What do we got in there, Chris? Uh, right here, we got we got some, some suspension. <laughs> yeah, you just throw that everywhere. Go over detail on what we got, Chris. Yeah, Chris, tell tell everybody what that is. That's not a whacker. I don't know. So yeah. one thing I like about when you get to the higher end and the bigger lift kits is these aren't like 14 pieces bolted together for the drop cradles. Bulletproofs is even more one piece. As you can see, that whole like subframe that drops down for the lower arms is all one welded piece versus trying to like erector set something together. Oh, look at that, Sergio, we're moving, buddy. Woo. Woo. Oh, make noise. Dude, you can just freehand, just freehand cut something. <laughs> Fire it up. It's not like that user friendly here. Oh man, we got more goodies? What do we got now? More goodies. So when I had the McGoys, I got the McGoys track bars. Nick over at uh, McGoys hooked me up with these. I'm gonna replace those with the, the ones I have on the truck. Oh, no more rough country? <laughs> well, crack them open, let's see them. Man, they strong, huh? I mean, they're kind of similar, but these are just a lot better made. Gotcha. So we're gonna be powder coating everything the same, essentially the same color of the lift kit you have now, right? So that yep. same blue? Yep, same blue. A lot of parts of powder coat. Maybe it's supposed to cut this low, Sergio. Uh, hopefully not. It's going to take forever to print. <laughs> right? So we're just doing some trial runs right now. Obviously, the, uh, the plasma's not up and running, but we want to do a little trace and see how it works. Bro, you want us to make you some of those? No, you know what I was thinking, though. What are you thinking? How long is that? Well, once we get the... No, that's too long. What, you want to make a faceplate for it? Yeah, do a polished faceplate. Uh, Sergio, we're gonna have to charge him a lot, you know, for this custom work we're gonna be doing out here. Definitely. We have years of experience. Though. That's true. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Just give us like another week to figure out how to run this thing, <laughs> and uh, yeah, we'll totally handle that for you, buddy. <laughs> yeah, we're like an hour away from figuring out how to make track bars. Don't worry. Ready, Chris? Give us some water, buddy. If this, this mounts to the same cross member as as the same one, which one's gonna be longer? Physically, which one has to be longer? So nice seeing a dad teach his son, huh? Come on, Brian, we want Happy West today, man. Why'd you piss him off? I know. I think he's already pissed off before he came. No, I wasn't. <laughs> well, why won't the McGoy stuff work with the Cognito? Dude, the whole reason you're switching is because you piece shit together. <laughs> Don't you want to do something? All one brand? Let's look at these. It does look straight. But you have to answer the question. You have to answer the question, Brian. <laughs> look how close these are. And look how spread apart these are. Yeah. But you Hold on! Look! You mount the bracket differently on the front. No, you don't. It goes to the exact same transmission cross member. The exact fing same. This thing is here, this one's here. These ones are in a few more inches than those ones. Hold on. Because Brian's a fing. He's not, he's not a, this isn't proven yet. Plug it in. Sergio, plug it in in case it blows up. <laughs> Plug's right there, buddy. 220, right there. We're good. Don't worry, we got the fire extinguisher right there. I think we're ready to go. You ready to cut? Wes, are you excited, buddy? You in a better mood now? Brian's gone, man. Don't get me started on Brian again, man. <laughs> that guy, I don't know what goes through his head. Plasma's on. We're going to set it to what, 25 amps? 25 amps. We have no air compressor. We need to kick the air compressor on. Oh, yeah, what do we, how much air do we push through? <laughs> so one of the issues we're running into is we don't have automatic torch height, which the newest model that just came out with does have that, but unfortunately the back order for that model is like 
six months. Eventually they're gonna offer automatic torch height for this one. So basically what you do is you've got these little shims here and you lower the torch onto them depending on the thickness and gauge of what your materials are. So they've got two little gauges there. We've gone with the higher one right now, which is probably too high for what we're cutting, but being that there's a little bow in the material because it's so long and we're too lazy to cut it right now, we're just gonna try it from higher. We're trying to find a program file right now though that is like not something crazy and something small that we can do a little test cut with, but all we're finding is crazy big files and like we can't really tell from the preview what it is. <laughs> we're doing a test run right now to see if it looks like anything, but this thing's moving so slow. That's for thicker. Yeah, this is, I think we're cutting some like three quarter inch over here. So we found this super sick skull file. So you can see right now it's doing a little demo run of it while this thing's moving over here, but it looks like it is absolutely tiny with how little that that torch is moving. It might be a keychain. Yeah, I don't know how small we could cut with this thing, but yeah, screw it, let's try it. I mean, it's the only one that's worked so far. <laughs> Kinda, yeah. All right, there's so many settings with your amperage on your plasma cutter, your air, all the heights, all kinds of crap, so. We're just guessing right now until we start figuring some stuff out. I'm nervous. I hope the torch button works and I don't even know what's going to happen. I'm going to stand over here. I'm going to stand behind you, Sergio. And I'll stand behind you. <laughs> <laughs> Why are you nervous, dude? I don't know. It's just... Uh oh I want to look, Sergio, yeah, but I know too, we're not supposed to look. <laughs> <laughs> All right, maybe not. Maybe it was just thinking for a minute. Sergio, I don't know what we're making, but it looks like we're making a mess. <laughs> it does not look like a microscopic skull, which I don't know who designed that skull. Way too uh, small for this way thing to cut. But, I mean, we're trying testing and we'll yeah. see how it works. Sergio, we got a great looking skull there, buddy. <laughs> not bad for our first cut. Nice. So this skull should have been like six, eight, eight inches. I don't know. It should have been a lot bigger. So when it was trying to cut two small little pieces, it just basically punched a big hole through it. Oh. Yeah. So we were dialing in all the settings as it was kind of doing it. So the good news is it works. We just need a better file. <laughs> all right, Sergio, we finally got one all the way through, man, with your free hand. That was, finally. That was the best rectangle you've made, too. Oh, man, it's almost all the way through. There we go. Hey. Hey. Wow. Look at yes. that, our first piece, even though it was really? freehand. That's not bad. Yeah, yeah, that's really clean. But well, right now they're going through picking everything that's going to get powder coated, everything that's going to get left black. Because apparently I'm the powder coat delivery guy tomorrow. You're just a good friend. Yeah, that's a bad idea. Yahtzee. Don't hit my truck. All right, well, hey, we got some springs that are getting coated too. All right, real quick, guys, I just want to give a shout out to a company that I've worked with in the past and also for this uh, lift kit that we just got for Bryant. Uh, Rob over at Suspension Superstore. They have a uh, website and an Instagram. Uh, they give military discount. They are very quick. Um, they have a lift for any truck pretty much. So if you're in the market, don't hesitate to give them a call. They are a dealer for Cognito and some other brands, but uh, I'm pretty partial to uh, Cognito. And as you can see, we ordered this lift kit yesterday morning and it showed up in uh, San Diego in a day. No no six week, uh, no. eight week, 10 week. And you, you get all the right parts. So I went through the inventory list on it and everything is there. So shout out Cognito and shout out to uh, Suspension Superstore. Hopefully none of these parts get stolen tonight because they're gonna be in my truck bed. So Brian, not responsible. But with that guys, we're gonna wrap up this video. My camera battery is about to die. Hopefully we get the CNC uh, plasma cutter all figured out. I think we're really, really close. So I'm excited about that. I'm excited to get Brian's lift kit put on and see what that thing looks like on the Cognito kit. As always, thank you guys so much for watching. If you have not subscribed already, please click the subscribe button now that we do not miss out on any future content. Don't forget to give this video a like, a kick, a thumbs up. Don't forget to check out workforitbell.com because if there's anything you want in this life, you gotta be willing to work for it. You guys are the best, I'm out. Damn. Uh. Yeah.